hi, my name is Alice Winstone. A Reborn Baby is a vinyl kit that's been made to look like a real baby. Um, I think I have roughly around 50 babies. I am obsessed with them, yeah. I do admit that. It doesn't affect my personal life at all. A year for the babies, I'd probably spend... I don't know, it depends how much I get for gifts, for uh, Christmas, for birthdays, and it, you know, it'll just depend. I can't really put an amount on it. It depends. Reese, this one, only has outfits from Next. It's a bit embarrassing. Um, but all the other babies just have clothes from anywhere, really. The most I've ever paid for a baby is £1,000 a long time ago. eBay. Evil <laughs> Evil Bay it's now known as, but yeah, eBay, and it was on a bid and I just couldn't stop pressing bid higher, <laughs> increase bid, uh, and when I got her I was absolutely horrified, because she's not that good. Yeah, they've all got names. Normally go by the kit or by whatever I think the baby looks like. I'll, keep, I'll stick to the kit name normally, and then um, after a couple of weeks I'll change its name to what I think it should suit. Whereas this, this little man was called Teddy for ages. And then we went on holiday to um Chlandod now a couple of months ago and I changed his name to Reese. So that's he just name just came about because my daughter said I think you should give him a proper name. So I did. Then they're not bothered. They don't have a problem with it at all. My daughter's got a vampire baby, reborn vampire. And then my other kids don't have a problem with it at all. They give me presents of money or clothes. My daughter's got a little girl, so she sends me her daughter's clothes to dress Naomi up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's quite good. It works out quite well, actually. No, I don't sleep with them. He sleeps on my bed. Look at his face. How could you not say that was cute? <laughs> <laughs> I did something about his little face, and every time I see him, uh, I just, I just want to pick him up. So it's just something about his face. I don't know what it is about him. It's just cute. What reaction do like people in the public and like the outside? They're actually what? amazed when I tell them it's not real. So it's a shock for them when they find out that it's not actually a real baby, because they go, "Oh, he's so ever so good, isn't he? Quiet." <laughs> and I go, "Well, that's because he's not real." And they go, "What? It's not real?" And I'm like, "No, it's not real. It's a doll. It's basically a doll." And they just they're just like astounded. The police. It was hilarious. I was on my way to Swansea to see my friend and I had Reese. I'd only just got him from Caroline and I decided to take him up to see my best friend, one of my best friends, Denise, um, for a cuddle with his auntie. Anyway, he gets in the car and I've got Reese and I've got three other babies sat in the back and two heads of two babies that I'd rooted hair for my friend um, on two of her kits that she was doing. And I'm almost in Swansea and this 4x4 four four Land Rover just pulls up at the side of me and he's going like this to me and shouting through the window and flashing his lights at me and he gets out and he goes, what the hell do you think you're doing? And I'm like, what, why, what's, what's wrong, what have I done? I wasn't speeding, I wasn't doing anything I shouldn't have done and I thought what he what he'd saw me do was, you know when you go past one of those in things that comes onto the motorway, I haven't got a clue what they're called. And this woman had sort of like done this to me, and I sort of like done it back to her and just drove off because I couldn't let her out. And um, he said, What are you doing with all them babies in the car? They've not got no seats, and he was writing me a ticket out. His mate was laughing, the other policeman was laughing, and um, I said to him, Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, what are you doing? They're not real babies. And he was like, what do you mean they're not real? I said, well, just open the door and take a look. And he was like, are you taking the mickey out of me or what? And I was like, no, honestly, they're not real. And he, he, he just like went, if I was you, I'd get a bloody car seat. He got my registration number and then told all the police officers in the area not to stop my car. And said, if I, you need a car seat and put someone on the window to say that you, it's not a real baby. He said, we he said you could have gotten so much trouble for that. And then he just drove off and left me alone. I was quite embarrassed. I haven't got a need to fill. I've got my kids. This is something completely different. It's not a need for another baby. It's not a desire for another child and the fact that I can't have any more. It's a need... Um, how can I say it? I haven't got, really, I haven't got a clue what it's about, really. All I know is, is that when you pick one up and you start putting clothes on it, you just want more. 
they make you feel happy and if you're if you've got nothing to do or you know I don't know just come in here and instantly feel amazing by just doing one of the babies although it does take a long time yeah, I change them regular. This one gets changed every day, this one. And and he wears pyjamas and so does Sir uh, Naomi. Um, but most of them, they just have their clothes changed once or twice a week. They have their faces cleaned, their hair done, their chairs brushed out so they're not dusty. Stuff like that. Bedding's changed if it needs it. Just, you know, normal stuff. But if I come in here on a night and I've had a crap day, then... I'll just change Reese or Naomi and then because they look so cute I'll put loads of pictures on Facebook <laughs> and that's it then because I've got pernicious anemia, B12 deficiency an underactive thyroid and everything else under the sun you can imagine so if I, I have to have injections and iron replacements through drips so I can't have any more kids so and I foster children as well so I can't have any more of my own but I can help other kids, which is what I do. These people think we're crazy and we're nuts and that we're going to run out and steal someone's little baby because we're crazy, but that's not what it is. There's These babies, are for, for women that suffer with mild or severe depression or any form of depression or anxiety, you pick up one of these. A man wouldn't understand, I'm not being horrible, but they don't. You pick up one of these babies and you instantly feel better. They've got the cuddle factor that a, a, a real baby would give you without the crap that comes with it. The being sick, the dirty nappies, the screaming 24 hours, you haven't got any of that. You've got a perfect baby, but we all know that they're not real. We're not crackers. And that's what I'd like to get across is the fact that we're not nuts. We're normal. We're just like to We've have babies. We've got a passion for babies. And there's nothing wrong with it. At all.